Hello everyone. In this lesson, um, we will study 1B, coffee break. Okay. And in this lesson, we will study jobs and the grammar of a and n. Then we have B, verb to be, negative, yes, no, question. Okay. And short answers. Yeah, let's start. Bismillah. In uh, here, in question number one, before we start, okay, let's look at these uh, photos. Here, A, we have a mobile phone. B, we have business card. Okay, then here we have, uh, this is a note. Then we have, uh, this is an email. Okay, and in these photos, we have some phone numbers, okay? So we have this phone number, and here another phone number, here one, and here's another one, okay? So how do we say these phone numbers, okay? Stop the video for a minute, try to say them. After that, you will listen and check if your um, uh, numbers were correct, okay? So for now, let's just talk about uh, something here. We say in phone numbers zero, we can say O or zero. You can use O or zero, no problem. And here we have the number 11. We don't say 11, we say double one, okay? In some languages, like in Arabic language, they use, for example, like 700, uh, nine, uh, seven, uh, 796 or for example 1178 no in English we don't do that okay let's listen um, um, to the recording and check the correct way of saying phone numbers track 17 a O seven nine six eight six three double one seven eight B O two O seven nine four six O three double two C double O three four nine three four two double one nine seven five D O one three one four nine six O eight six four Okay, guys, so uh, you can repeat it many times and practice how you say the numbers. Okay, so in some countries, for example, here they say 034, okay, 934, 211, 975, okay. So look, part one, part two, part three, part four, okay. And here, three parts, okay. Here, three parts. So if you uh, think this is difficult okay no problem try to say number by number okay now after that you practice you can say for example double o three four nine three four two 
double one nine seven five at the beginning no problem okay but after that you need to practice uh, the correct way okay so and here in exercise number two okay let's see exercise number two in exercise number two uh, we will listen to four conversations okay and write the phone numbers okay so listen take a piece of paper write one to four and the first conversation number one okay the phone number that you hear write it okay four conversations let's do that together track 18 a what's your phone number uh wait a minute it's o one double two one nine six o seven double four o one double two one nine six o seven double four yes that's right b what's tina's mobile number it's o seven nine o six three nine four eight nine six o seven nine o six uh three nine four eight nine six c what's the phone number of your hotel it's o double one nine four nine eight o six nine one i'm in room three o two okay thanks d what's your number in australia it's double o six one o two double nine six seven two three one five so that's double o six one o two double nine six seven two three one five okay thanks okay guys so um you can repeat um the recording again okay uh twice three times okay uh, you can repeat it then write it okay after you repeat now let's check the answers together okay i will put it here so you check the answer okay this is the answer check with your uh, answer okay so now um let's move to the next exercise here the next exercise is pair work for example if you are in the class you will ask your uh, partner what's your mobile number okay your partner will have some numbers in a piece of paper and you will ask each other and answer just to practice okay so what's your uh, mobile number this is the question when people ask what's your mobile number or what's your home number okay and you start with it's okay what's your mobile number it's 053163 like this okay this is a pair work or group work exercise Okay guys, so now let's move to the next exercise, vocabulary and speaking, and we will talk about jobs, okay? So here we have some words for jobs, a manager, a doctor, an engineer, a sales assistant, a waiter, a waitress, a cleaner, a police officer, an actor, an actress, a musician, a teacher, 
a student, a housewife, an accountant, a lawyer, a builder, a mechanic. Okay, so let's see some photos about um, these jobs. Okay, here we have um, this is a police officer, then an accountant. An accountant, for example, if you are in a, in a school or a language academy and you want to pay money for the course. So you go to the receptionist and you say, I want to pay money for the course. The receptionist will tell you, please go to the accountant office. You give money and you take small paper with your money that you paid. Okay, so the accountant in the company, for example, the accountant give salary, give money every month, give money for people who work in the place. This is the accountant. And this is an actor, okay? He is an actor. His name is Ahmed Helmi. He is an Egyptian actor. And an actor, a person who makes films, okay? And this is Angelina Jolie and she is an actress actress also makes films and this is the builder builder yes uh, make uh, builders make home okay and uh, cleaner a doctor an engineer a housewife a housewife um, a married woman who stays at home okay she doesn't work just stays at home for example someone asks me what's your mother's job I say she is a housewife what's your wife's job she is a housewife she doesn't work and now this is a lawyer okay a lawyer and this is I guess like heroin okay and a manager a mechanic a musician a musician someone who plays music and a sales assistant or you can say uh, a shop assistant a teacher a waiter and a waitress a waiter and a waitress this is a waitress okay the man is a waiter so let's go again here okay so in this um, exercise here we are going to just make some notes here for example okay here let's see a manager okay er or er again and here you are er er okay er er okay so er or or in um, in a british accent they say it as schwa which is uh, like here a manager a doctor an engineer okay so all of them we say uh, schwa schwa okay and we have some other things here for example the o in british accent they say they don't say police say p, p, police 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 okay and here we have c i a n we say shin shin musician okay here we have double c accountant we have double c and a in lawyer we don't say law we say law law or oh, lawyer okay and you in builder is silent silent we don't say you mechanic ch we say k mechanic mechanic okay so another thing we can say here for example this is notes when I say actor, we use it for man, okay, and 
woman actor man and woman actress for women okay for a woman and when i say waiter for man wait rest for woman okay so just actor you can say he is an actor she is an actress uh, sorry he is an actor she is an actor but actress only for women waiter for a man waitress for a woman and all other jobs for man and woman of course housewife only for a woman okay so this is note okay now let's um, listen okay and practice okay i put the recording so you listen read and practice Track 19. A manager. A doctor. An engineer. A sales assistant. A waiter. A waitress. A cleaner. A police officer, an actor, an actress, a musician, a teacher, a student, a housewife, an accountant. A lawyer, a builder, a mechanic, okay, guys. So, again, you can repeat uh, the recording many times and practice, okay. Um, there is another note here. For example, we say here, I am unemployed, unemployed, and I am retired. Unemployed, um, for example, I finished university and I don't have job, I don't work, so I am unemployed. And retired here, retired, I finished university, I work, for example, I finished university, I am 23, years old after that i work 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 i am 60 years old 62 years old i don't work i stay at home and i take money from the government okay from my company for example so this is retired so we don't say for example here we say a housewife a lawyer a builder an accountant here we don't say an or a why because we, we can say one teacher two teachers three teachers a student three students a mechanic four mechanics but here we cannot say unemployed no because this is an adjective unemployed is an adjective and retired is an adjective so we don't write a or an okay guys Okay, guys, so now we will study um, this exercise, a uh, and an. Okay, so read this exercise, fill in the gaps with a uh, and an. After that, okay, you go to page 128, read about this vocabulary, 128. Okay, here. Okay, read about it, stop the video, read about it. After that, 
we will um, discuss together. Okay, so now let's go to the board. Okay, so a uh, and an. Okay, so why do we use a uh, and an? We use it number one with singular nouns. Okay, for example, we say a camera, an answer. After that, we use it with jobs. When I say a doctor, an actor. Okay, so number one, we we use it with singular nouns, and number two, we use it with jobs. All the jobs before the job. You, you put a or an okay so English letters how many English letters are there we have 26 okay and we have vowel letters and consonant letters how many vowel vowels we have five consonants we have 21 okay what are the vowels we have a a e i o u the consonant from b to z b uh, C, D, F, G, K, okay, all of these um, consonants. And before the vowel letters, we use N, okay, and before the consonant letters, we use A. So this is what we studied in the schools, okay. And here, for example, with jobs and singular nouns, uh, let's have some examples about that. Examples engineer and umbrella what do we use before engineer yes and umbrella and because they start they start with vowels and here we have manager desk they start with consonants so we say a manager and a desk okay but that was the rule that they taught us in the schools before okay and this is not the correct rule guys okay what's the correct rule the correct rule that we have uh, we use a before a consonant sound sound guys not letters okay and and before a vowel sound a vowel sound okay so for example they say our university mb3 players they are for example irregular so you can use this rule, but these are irregular. So for example, we say uh, our, uh, according to this rule, for example, we say H is a consonant. So we put a uh. university starts with vowel. So we put an MB3 player starts with M. So we put an, but this is not the correct rule. No. So here we have a, uh, we should write an. Why? Because it's all about sounds sounds not letters okay guys so here you uh, we say an hour for example you close your eyes after that see a uh, a uh, hour hour start with a uh. so we say an hour university yeah yeah so we say a uh, university m b3 e e m e so this is start with an m b3 player okay guys so these are irregular no they are not irregular just we start uh, we put a uh or an if we hear a consonant uh, sound or a vowel sound that's it okay guys so now we'll do this exercise exercise number five okay what we do here we will write a uh or an for example for example job student answer what's the first sound okay what's the first sound write a uh or an okay when you finish check with this answer here so job we say a job student a student answer an answer for we say book a book english book an english book six room a room and here how you ask about jobs for example here we say what's your job i am a manager and if you want to ask about another person for a man we say what's his job we say the answer he is a mechanic what's her job she is an actress okay so here your job his job her job 
Okay, and in this photo here, we have some people. How many people in the photo? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and we have this group A, group B, group C, they talk. And here we have conversations. One, two, and three. So now you listen and fill in the gaps with jobs. Maybe a doctor, a musician, an actress, a cleaner. Okay. So how many gaps? One, two, three, four, five gaps. Listen and fill in the gaps. Track 20. One. Are you from New York? No, we aren't from the USA. We're from Canada. Oh, really? What do you do? I'm an engineer and Jane's a doctor. Two. Who's she? Her name's Sally Andrews. Is she a musician? Yes, she is, but she isn't famous. Three. What do you do? I'm a police officer. And you? I'm an accountant. Are you from Mexico? No, I'm not. I'm from Colombia. Okay, guys, so now you can uh, uh, repeat the video again, listen again, and write the answer. Okay, if you finished, we can check the answers here. Okay, so we have number one, engineer, two, doctor, three, musician, four, police officer, five, accountant. Okay, in this exercise, we will study there to be negative and yes no question and short answer okay so read this exercise fill in the gaps here with contraction am aren't and isn't fill in the gaps after that uh, read this exercise fill in the gaps with contraction am is are isn't or aren't after you finish you go to page 123 grammar 1.3 Okay, read everything here about it. Okay, and when you finish, let's go to the board and explain everything. Okay, guys, so uh, here we will study the uh, present symbol negative. Okay, and we have verb to be and not. Okay, verb to be and not. Okay, for example, we have, I am from Italy. What's the negative? I am not from Italy. He is from Italy. The negative? He is not from Italy. They are from Italy. They are not from Italy. Italy okay so this is how we make negative we have verb to be after that not am not verb to be after that not is not verb to be after that uh, not here are not okay so what about the contractions contractions we have two ways for example the first one subject verb to be come together and not alone what are the subjects in english we have i he she it they we you okay so i we say i am i am come together and not i am not he is not she is not it's not there not we're not you're not so this is when subject and verb to be come together now, okay and the other way we have subject alone verb to be and not together again we have here all the subjects Subject pronouns in English, I, he, she, it, they, we, and you, okay? 
So we have here I am, okay. Then we have I amint, okay. I amint, and this one is wrong. We only have one way. We say I'm not. We don't say I amint, okay. He is. He isn't. She is. She isn't. It is. It isn't. They are. They aren't. We are. We aren't. You are. You aren't. So, as we um, can see here, we say I am from Italy, I am not from Italy, but we say I am not, I am not, we don't say I am not, I am not. He is not, we can say he is not or he isn't. They are not, they are not or they aren't. We have two ways to make negative, but uh, I am not only one way okay now question question in uh, in English with verb to be we have two kinds of questions yes no question and WH question okay yes no question comes with short answer okay and we will explain what does short answer mean we have, he is a doctor, okay? The question will be, is he a doctor? We change the subject and verb to be. Is he a doctor? Yes, he is. This is the answer, okay? What about if I make contraction? Yes, he is. Ah, this is wrong. We don't write contraction in uh, yes answer. After that, we have the no answer, no he isn't, no he is not, because we said we have two ways to make the negative uh, answer, no he isn't or no he is not, okay, or we have here no he is not, and this is wrong, we don't, uh, we, uh, we write contraction with no answer, yes answer, no contraction, uh, yes answer, no contraction, okay no answer always contraction okay and we have here they are doctors what's the question are they doctors what's the answer yes they are negative no they aren't no they aren't okay no they are not no they are not the same okay no they're not okay so you are a doctor you are a doctor are you a doctor are you a doctor this is the question and yes i am yes i am no i am not no i am not no i amn't no, I amn't. We don't say no, I amn't. Okay, so this is wrong. Now, WH questions. What are WH words? What, when, who, where, why, etc. So, for example, let's have the first example. What is your name? What is your name? But the contraction, what's your name? What's your name? Okay, and my name is Nasser. Another one, we have, for example, where? Where are you from? Where are you from? And we say, where are you from? Where are you from? Okay. Where are you from? I am from Syria. I am from Syria. But here, where are? Can I write where are? Contraction? No. We don't write contraction with are. Where, where are? We can say but we don't write, okay? Another one, who? Who is he? Who is he? And he is my brother. He is my brother, okay? So 
a very important note here if you can see contractions question words wh words plus contraction r writing no we don't write pronunciation okay we can say where are who are when are why are okay question words wh word plus contraction is is okay writing is okay pronunciation you can say who is he writing and uh, pronunciation no problem okay okay so now here in exercise number nine okay exercise number nine this is you will listen and practice okay listen and practice the words here track 21 okay so we have some sentences okay you will listen and practice track 21 i'm not a teacher we aren't from the usa she isn't famous are you from spain Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she a musician? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are you from New York? Yes, we are. No. We aren't. Okay, so you can repeat many times and practice here. Okay, so here in this exercise, okay, exercise number 10, okay, this is like a pair work. In the, in the class, we have two students, three students, they work together and they, they ask each other questions is he a doctor and you answer no he isn't he's an engineer this is if you are in the class will be better so you can work with your um, friends okay and in exercise number 11 okay here this is um, a good exercise about making negative and sentences okay how how can we do it for example here we say the sentences tick the sentences that are true for you okay any sentence is true for you the information is true for you for example i am an english student yes i am an english student so you put tick maybe no i'm not an english student so you put x okay it's uh, it's about you okay for example i say for me uh, after you say tick the true sentences and here we say that are true for you make the other sentence negative so number one you make negative after that okay you write the correct sentence correct information for example you say i am from the uk i am from the uk so no negative so i say i am not from the uk okay after that you write the correct information you say i am from poland i am from Poland. So first of all, you wrote negative. This is a negative sentence. After that, you wrote the correct information. Okay. So here, my English class is in room 12. So what's the negative? For example, we say, uh, if I put here X, for example, so I make negative. I write, for example, here, my English class isn't okay in room 12 okay then we say for example it's in room 4 for example so my english class isn't in room 12 it's in room 4 so here we have again we have um, The negative I made negative after that I made correct 
information it's a room four and do the others the same okay guys here we we don't have answer here because the answers are different from students to student okay guys and this is an exercise that again students work together to uh, to ask each other questions if you are in the class of course we will do this exercise okay guys thank you thank you for watching this video and if you have any question guys you can write it in the comments okay and or you can contact me for example um, you have my what's uh, uh, number okay contact me and I will help you as soon as possible. Thank you guys and goodbye.